We're proud of him. How about it for Mr. Gospel Music, our very own James Beckwood. Well, Jerry, since J.D. is not here today, most of my stories are going to be on him. <laughs> That's why he's got to show up. Go for it. Look, years, several years ago, uh, J.D. and Stamps were booked to sing, give a concert on an Indian reservation in, in Arizona. It was through the government somehow. The government was going to pay them. At that time, I think it was $1,500 flat, which in, at that time was big, big money for Quartet to sing. So the Stamps pulled up out at the, uh, this town they were supposed to go to, and to the auditorium where the concert was going to be, and uh, went in to meet the manager, and the manager said, what can I do for you? He said, we're here to give a concert. He said, no, you're not going to give a concert here. They just said, oh, yeah, we've got a contract here. If we swing, sing tonight, we get $1,500. He said, well, you're not going to sing here tonight. And uh, J.D. said, yeah, well, yes, we are. The guy said, well, there's a wrestling match here tonight. <laughs> J.D. said, I don't care. We're going to sing. He said, well, you have to wait till the wrestling match is over. Okay. So house filled up with people. Two or 3,000 people came in for it. They gave it the, the rest of the matches over. Everybody got up and left. <laughs> J.D. and the staff come in, set up their sound system. They gave a full concert to a completely empty house. <laughs> And on, on court, on court, you know, every song. <laughs> oh, boy, that's tremendous. He wasn't going to miss that flat, would he? Does that tell you how hungry these guys have been through the years, huh? How about that head button contest that you got involved? Oh, uh, when Jack and Mark were playing piano for us, one time, we have, before we got both the first books, we had a seven-passenger car. J.D. and Jackie were in the back seat. And so they got to talking about which one had the hardest head. <laughs> so they got, well, we just said less. So J.D. on one side, Jackie on the other, and they came to each other and butted heads like this. And they kept on and on until finally J.D. said, his head was hurting so bad he's going to have to quit. And said that, then Jack at the past said, well, said, I used to have a pet goat, and me and the goat butted heads all the time. That's why my head is so hard. All right. Oh, boy. George, does that tell you anything about J.D. not to get involved? I don't see how his head could hurt. Ain't nothing in it. No. There ain't oh, nothing there to hurt. <laughs> Oh, boy, I'll tell you, I wish J.D. was here. I wish he'd walk I'm, in unannounced, don't I'm you? Great. Oh, wouldn't that be great? 